That's why I don't really believe in trends. I just believe in wearing whatever makes you feel good, makes you feel confident, makes you feel beautiful. Zendaya's fashion choices always hit the mark. The star rocked every red carpet this year in styles that perfectly match the themes of her many projects. Thank you so much. This is an absolute honor. No Way Home, Los Angeles premiere. For the Spider-Man No Way Home premiere in LA, Zendaya pulled out all the stops. The leading lady spun things up with long braids and a custom deep cut, nude colored Valentino gown complete with spiderweb details in crystal embroidery. Tom Holland complimented his co-star with a sleek black suit and Chelsea boots. The pièce de résistance, Z's black webbed masquerade style headpiece a la Peter Parker. So <laughs> I have it on for now. We love it. I mean, it's love great. To be part of yeah, it'd be tough to watch that movie. Spidey mask. No way home, London event. Are your Spidey senses tingling? Zendaya took the assignment literally during a photo call for the Spider-Man No Way Home event in London. The actress wore an oversized gray blazer, referencing Spider-Man villain Venom, and thigh-high sheer black boots embellished with silver details reminiscent of spider webs. The whole outfit was styled by La Roche and designed by Alexander McQueen. Standing next to boyfriend and co-star Tom Holland, the star topped off the red carpet style with a wet hair look and literal spiderweb earrings by Jacob & Co. Dune Premiere Zendaya was all kinds of sci-fi glam when the cast of the new Denis Villeneuve film, Dune, appeared on the red carpet, or the official premiere in London. The star's cream-colored gown, with its draped neckline, had architectural references to the hooded costume worn by the film's characters. Zendaya, who plays Shani in the film, was dressed by designer Rick Owens. The futuristic shape of the long sleeve dress also played well with the storyline, which is set 20,000 years in the future. Co-star Timothy Chalamet complimented her perfectly in a modern black suit by Alexander McQueen. Villain Reference at Balloon d'Or Zendaya chose a different villain to represent at the Balloon d'Or ceremony in Paris this November. The star graced the red carpet in a floor-length gown by Roberto Cavalli. The stunning statement back piece of the dress referenced both the shape of the spine and the device created by the fictional Spider-Man villain, Dr. Octopus. The gold skeleton-esque back turned heads and had everyone very excited to see the new Marvel film. Space Jam Premiere Channeling her on-screen animated counterpart, Zendaya hopped the red carpet for the Space Jam film premiere. She gave fans Lola Bunny vibes in a colorful and vibrant two-piece outfit by Machino. The star finished the look with Louboutin heels and Bulgari bling. Her side-swept pony was reminiscent of everyone's favorite sassy cartoon rabbit. Of the role, the actress said, I feel quite lucky to play such an iconic character. At least voice her, so I feel pretty lucky. Euphoria Press at the ATX Festival, Zendaya and the rest of the cast of the hit HBO series Euphoria sat down to answer audience questions. Zendaya wore a two-piece red power suit that reminded some fans of her on-screen character's signature look, the oversized maroon hoodie that Rue wears during season one. Anyone else make that catch? It's a big jump, it's very different. Spider-Man World Premiere It wasn't hard to interpret Zendaya's intention behind her look for the Spider-Man World Premiere in LA. The actress stunned fans and photographers in a backless sequined red and black color block gown by Armani. It's almost like someone tipped her off of the event's decor color scheme. Zendaya tweeted a pic from the event, captioning it, Tonight was fun. Tom Holland complimented in a silk maroon suit. Back in 2017, Zendaya already had the hang of dressing on theme when she rocked a flowing pink gown by Ralph and Russo, complete with its own superhero cape. Dune Sand Waves at Venice Film Festival is anyone else getting gorgeous sand dune vibes? At the iconic Venice Film Festival event, Zendaya was promoting the film Dune and wore an appropriately styled wet look gown designed by Balmain. Oh, the spice was definitely in the air. The dress was, of course, custom made with couture crafted leather and perfectly fitted to the star's figure. She added some ethereal bling to the look with a 93 carat emerald necklace by Bulgari. Dune Armor in London Getting in the theme of the film's military elements, Zendaya went for a chain armor look for the Dune photo call in London. The film stars stood in front of downtown London while the actress rocked the chain corset by Vivian Westwood, paired with a checkered skirt and beige heels. The actress worked in collaboration with the Ethical Fashion Initiative for the printed fabric skirt, which played into the ecological environmentalism themes underlying the story of Dune and Zendaya's character. Greatest Showman 
With a nod to her high-flying character, Zendaya attended the premiere for the musical film The Greatest Showman, dressed as a butterfly. The monarch-inspired gown designed by Machino's Jeremy Scott referenced her on-screen character in both colorful vibrance and big-top soaring nature. Zendaya plays a trapeze artist in the fictional P.T. Barnum Circus, and her co-star Zac Efron said, Our characters go through so much in this movie. There's this unspoken kind of relationship they have that's communicated through looks. BET Beyoncé Tribute What better way to pay tribute to the history of R&B than with a throwback to one of Queen Bey's iconic looks? For the BET Awards, Zendaya chose a Versace dress from the 2003 archives, worn by Beyoncé during her performance that year at the awards show. Beyoncé took the stage fresh out of her Destiny's Child days, performing her first big solo hit, Crazy in Love. Donatella Versace took to Instagram to praise the actress on her tribute, writing, A tough act to follow, but you aced it effortlessly. You got me looking. Lancome Perfume Bottle What better style choice than to dress as the product you're promoting? For the recent Lancome Idol launch event in Paris, Zendaya went for a blush pink gown with intricate gold beading. As the new face of the fragrance, the star was embodying the brand and the bottle. The star said, I'm thrilled to be the face of the new Lancome fragrance. I like the fact that it's fresh and light. I'm very particular about perfumes, and Idol smells absolutely beautiful, and I love it. Looking euphoric Zendaya looked the part in a glittering white gown with gauzy details around the neckline and knee-length hem. The star paid tribute to her character with a messy ponytail. While other red carpet looks have seen Zendaya diving into a more mature, womanly figure, the white cocktail dress played closer to her character Rue's youth and innocence. Feminine Suit for GQ Men Awards being honored at the Australian GQ Awards is a huge deal. The star wore a chic white suit and fitted hip-hugging skirt by Minot. She finished the look with loose natural curls and Louboutins. The feminine take on the classic menswear suit featured a crop top that is quickly becoming the star's go-to look. Golden Globe Day What do you do when you're nominated for multiple Golden Globe Awards? Dress like one, of course! In 2017, the budding starlet was shaking off her Disney past and looking straight ahead into the industry's biggest award shows. Ahead of the nomination results, the star rocked an all-gold outfit, tweeting that it was just a happy accident. We find that hard to believe, given the actress's string of totally intentional on-theme looks. Okay, and you would do a two for a check. When you need a Web suit on Jimmy Kimmel. While touring the late-night talk shows to promote the Spider-Man film, Zendaya appeared on Jimmy Kimmel with her Marvel film co-stars, including Tom Holland and Kobe Smulders. Sticking to her Spidey theme, she wore an oversized white suit with netting details along the jacket. It was a good outfit choice in the end since the host had Zendaya and Tom Holland duel it out on an air hockey table. Poison Ivy Not long after the actress joined the Marvel franchise, she paid tribute to another comic book character. For the Emmys in 2019, Zendaya wore a custom one-shoulder gown with an asymmetrical skirt and corset top. The green Vera Wang dress and tinted red hair played homage to the iconic Poison Ivy character portrayed by Uma Thurman in 1997. Dune Red Carpets Another Dune photo call called for two more ensembles, fit for the queen of fashion. The first was a crimson-colored two-piece, crop top set from Elias 2022 collection. Designed by Peter Moulier, it featured long sleeves and embellished jewels. As for the reasoning behind the look, her stylist said that she's a grown woman and doesn't mind showing a little skin as a professional and successful star. Zendaya later changed into a second two-piece, belly-bearing set by David Coma. Military Dune Vibes at one of the less talked about Dune press tour stops, Zendaya harnessed the film's military vibes with an all-black suit. The actress wore a look from Bottega Veneta's Fall 2021 collection that bridged feminine shapes and silhouettes with tailored practicality. And of course, throw in some thigh-high boots. Zendaya matched with co-star Rebecca Ferguson, who wore a little black dress from the Schiaparelli Fall 2021 collection. Green Lantern on Graham Norton as part of the Spider-Man press tour for the most recent installment of the Marvel franchise, Zendaya and Tom Holland appeared on The Graham Norton Show. The multi-talented actress got outside her comfort zone with a green and purple suit that fans immediately thought was referencing yet another Spider-Man universe character. Any guesses? According to her Instagram stories post from backstage, the suit is a subtle nod to the Green Goblin and showcases the villain's signature color palette. Whether it's an event for the new Spider-Man movie or an interview for one of her other characters, Zendaya always chooses a high fashion outfit to perfectly hit the mark and theme of the event. Saying she understands the assignment is an understatement. 
Which of these incredible Zendaya fits is your favorite? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to The Thing Celebrity for more stories about today's top fashion and celebs.